Well done, well done. Sarah, I thought it was good, I thought it was strong. You were seductive, but it was that throughout. I think you need to show those emotional levels. Eliana, I thought some of your lines were beautiful. You're getting your technique back, you're back to where you are, but you're getting nervous. You still get nervous. The pirouettes, your shoulders are up. All right, everybody, let's get ready for the group dance. How about Brady's mom? How'd she do with the stoning? First time she stoned. It's the first? You think that last night was the first time your mother was stoned? No. Well, no. It was. No. It was. No. <laughs> Like, put rhinestones on a costume. It was? First time? I think. Can Hannah see with that mask? She says yes. I can't really move my mouth in this mask, and it stings. And I'm seeing, like, sparkles. But other than that, it's great. I'd be nervous about the mask. I mean, yes, of course, we have not practiced the mask. Like, we don't practice a lot of things, and that is very nerve-wracking. We might have not practiced ripping off Hannah's mask, but we practiced ripping off yours. Earlier this week, the moms tried making the point that Anne speaks for Hannah. I feel like we don't know who Hannah really is because Anne always tries to talk for her. She tries to answer. We are making a big deal about it because Abby made Hannah the lead in the group dance where her true identity is revealed. But Abby is used to the ALDC having a better track record than we do so far this season. We're six and four. And you know that if the group dance doesn't win, it's going to be the lead's fault. You know what, Abby? This is a really important week, and we really need a win. Do you really think it was a good idea to make Hannah the lead in this dance? Well, I think I need to teach her a lesson. She is 14 years old. She can open her mouth. She can speak for herself. She can ask questions and still remain a respectful young lady. I have been working with Hannah to open her mouth and speak since she was like five. Well, it's not working. Yes, she's always been quiet. She's quiet because you speak for her. This routine is called stoned face. She is wearing the stoned face because every time I look at her, she has a look on her face like she's scared to death of her mother. I give you a character to do and you do it kind of sort of a little bit, but you never take it beyond my wildest imagination of what I think it should be, yes? Not everybody is gonna care as much about you as I do. And at 14, the clock is ticking. I know you think that's crazy for me to say it, but not when a 10-year-old is dancing circles around you. All I'm saying is right now, blank or get off the pot. You can fill in the words because you're 14. All right, let's go.